Good morning, folks. We've got to look at the significant increase in solar activity, a big earthquake, a different kind of pre-earthquake signal, and the most powerful cosmic ray seen in more than 30 years. We're starting here with the last 48 hours on our star so we can see the sharp uptick in activity, multiple M-class solar flares, filament releases, and a surge in the sunspot number. This green view is 94 angstroms, and we don't use it often, but its specialty is seeing the high-energy flares, which are crackling at the active regions. One of the CMEs released yesterday morning does appear to be heading our way according to NASA's Enlil Spiral. It would arrive tomorrow night if it is indeed going to make impact, and we will certainly have our eyes open for more eruptions. The sunspot number is shot up in the last 5 to 10 days, and we have a significant portion of the sun covered with active regions. We'll be watching for more flaring and eruptive activity, and to see if coronagraphs show a CME off the south-central eruption that occurred this morning. It was an impulsive burst, but coronal deformation tells us we will need to check in on the updated images. Folks, we had a large earthquake in the Mariana Islands this morning rang in at 6.9, still awaiting any damage reports from the region. But our first article today hits pre-seismic signals, but not what we're used to seeing. Borehole monitoring indicates significant subsurface water level changes in the pre-earthquake process, possibly offering us yet another way to forecast seismic activity, in addition to all those atmospheric electricity signals that we see so often. It's a very cool finding there. Top article today is about cosmic rays, or rather just one of them. Even though we are inside the sun's heliospheric magnetic field and the solar wind creates an interior protection, cosmic rays still arrive at Earth about a million times every moment. They are constantly hitting the planet from all directions, but most are low energy today. We see that they have confirmed the highest energy cosmic ray hit since 1991. They say that something of this energy level is extremely rare, and they're still trying to work out where in the cosmos it came from. Story is ongoing, and will likely be updated in the weeks ahead. We greatly appreciate your support. Check out the resource links below the video in the description box. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.